So this is the first time we've taken the skiing. We normally have a truck, uh, our Raptor, that we just throw all the skis and stuff in the back of the truck and we're good to go. Uh, this one, because we don't have a roof rack yet, we're going to have to lay the seats down and see how the skis fit in there, so we're gonna get that done right now. All right, now do we have uh, the bag with all of our stuff in it? All right, everything's in. Hey guys, you gonna go with us? No? All right. How about you? You going with us? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna put that in there. We got masks. Do we need them? I don't know. <laughs> Do we need masks? Probably. Really? Yeti? Not to see, but to go. What do you think, buddy? Yes, no? Maybe so? Dude, I know because you don't have the foot on your brake. <laughs> uh, this is a comedy this morning. Yes, How are you doing back there, Bri? Oh, jeez. We need to get out of here. <laughs> trip we've taken to Breckenridge this year during ski season and uh, we decided to try eco mode in the mountains all the way there and all the way back and see how we do from a mileage standpoint in the city we actually get very terrible gas mileage we get like 13 and a half 13 and a half miles a gallon so we decided we would try going to a ski area and back so we're going from an elevation of about 7,000 feet to up and down elevations all the way up to about uh, 10,000 feet and then back again and so far we've put in 71 miles and we are at 18.9 miles to the gallon as far as the truck is telling us so so far eco seems like it's working compared to what we normally have so we will keep trying this we'll get back we'll fill up and then we'll find out whether or not we are uh, going to be in that 17 to 20 mile per gallon range, which would be awesome. We're still about an hour outside of Breckenridge if we keep following these new laws. And it's one degree. <laughs> it's one degree. It's cold. It's cold outside. There's a lot of buffalo on the way from Colorado Springs to Breckenridge. There's buffalo farms. There's one particular farm that has an adult and a juvenile uh, white buffalo. And we almost never see them. But today we saw them and we couldn't, uh, we didn't get it on camera. You know, one of the things that I've noticed on this trip is that we've had this in eco the entire time, which probably doesn't have anything to do with it. But when we put it in and out of for automatic there's a buzz that you can hear audibly in the Bronco and you can feel feedback through the pedal it's like a static through the pedal now obviously that is the uh, all-wheel drive working 
So I switched it to for a high and it does the same thing. So I'm assuming this is just a normal thing and maybe I haven't noticed it. The Raptor, when we turned it to for a high, we didn't get any feedback whatsoever through the pedal. So this must be something that just the Bronco has. Does anybody else notice this? So most people in the Bronco community, when they do their uh, like little drives and stuff like that, have a Bronco cup. But me, I've got a Tucker Snowcat mug because in my heart, I am a Tucker Snowcat guy through and through. And at some point, I will own a Tucker Snowcat on this channel. Next stop, Fair Play, Colorado. A very small town. Probably uh, Main Street is likely an eighth of a mile to a quarter of a mile long. Uh, this is the home to the South Park movie characters. This is supposed to be South Park, like in the like in the uh, cartoon. Mandy's favorite cartoon. <laughs> she loves it. She loves it especially when I say, "That's my papa." Ooh, Kenny just got hit by a snowplow. <laughs> You're terrible. This is Alma, Colorado, which is the highest incorporated city in the United States. 10,578 feet. Hey, nice job. It is also figuratively the highest city in the nation because they have four pot shops and the city is only 150 yards long. It's the <laughs> highest and the highest. This is Blue River, which is right outside of Breckenridge. And this low swamp land area uh, in between the mountains is known to have a population of moose, which we see occasionally. We see it all the time in the summer. You don't see them as often in the winter, but they are down here. And sometimes you even see them on the mountain when you're like on a gondola skiers. or something like that. <laughs> Chasing, yeah, one did chase a skier. Was it last year? Yeah. Last year or the year before? A moose made it out of the slopes and was chasing skiers around. So that's always a good time. But I don't see, I don't see the moose. No. So we saw the white buffalo, but we did not see the moose. I thought we were going to make it a... We did see a wolf. So we saw, we saw a... A black wolf uh, in the area outside of Colorado mm -hmm. Springs that's known for black wolves. We saw, and we don't, we never see them. So we saw one. We saw the white buffalo, which we don't ever see. And we're hoping to see the moose as well in Blue River, but I don't see the moose. So the moose eluded us. We also mm -hmm. always see elk. Uh, like elk. Huge herds. Yeah, we always see the big herds of elk and we always see the antelope and we didn't see those today either. But that's usually the roundup of everything that we see. Oh, we did see a fox. Yeah. Saw a fox. Where is it? Right there. Where? Straight ahead. Just point straight. I got him. I don't know if I did. I didn't. Okay. See it. I can see the head right there. You can? Yeah, but you're not going to be able to see it in trees. You're not going to be able to see it. Got girls, it's so dark. All right. We saw the moose. We saw the moose. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we thought we were going to get skunked on the moose this time, but he was back in the trees. I don't know if you guys got to see it or not, but we'll see if we can highlight it. Uh, but it was the cow that we got, the female, was uh, in the trees. 
Moose, got him. So normally we just buzz right in, park, go skiing, and it's not a big deal. Traffic has been terrible today. We go the back way because I-70 is probably a parking lot right now. There's a uh, there's a song called, what was it, <laughs> I-70, Please Release Me? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, you, you need to check that out. Oh, I-70, why are you doing this to me? Don't you know I got somewhere else to be? Not sitting here in traffic just about to lose my mind. I'm gonna put the link in the description of that song. Uh, it is it is a bluegrass song and it's awesome. We love listening to it. This way, or you can go that way. I say, out of the middle of you. All right, just enough room for everything in here. Laid on the back of the seat, the quarter seat, and uh, lay the skis down in there. It's actually got more internal room than the truck does, so it keeps everything warmer. Just need a, just need a ski rack. And <laughs> see. Well, pull them up then. There you go. <laughs> All right. Hey. All right, let's go do this.
do you do when you're stuck in a room with no windows, no doors, and just a mirror and a table? You look in the mirror, you see what you saw, grab the saw, cut the table and have two halves equal a hole, and crawl through the hole. Yeah, same thing. I can just take the saw and cut a hole, and it saves me a whole lot of time. I'm out of the house before you are. Every time we go skiing, I have to have chili cheese fries. Yes. So there they are, the chili cheese fries. And then uh, we have our... How many beers does that hold? Like 12? Yeah. So that holds a case of beer. Uh, but what we do is we actually just put Kit Kats and granola bars, some crackers, cheese, <laughs> we got vegetables, salami, cheese crackers, Coors Light. It's a good time. Good job! Nice job! Well, was that fun? It was fun, wasn't it? like jelly ma'am yeah so uh, what did you guys think of uh, Breckenridge today that was oh, amazing it was a little tough the snow was really hard today it hasn't snowed it snowed last night but didn't so much but the conditions have been kind of hard pack but are still still a good time so we're walking one street above Main Street right now we go to one of our favorite pizza places is uh, Fatty's uh, you want to go to Fatty's yeah you want to go to Fatty's? Uh, All right, we're gonna head Fatty's. Marshmallows with sprinkles all over them. What? <laughs> 